This example is a Monte Carlo simulation uh, with a resource management um, type problem for a transport company. So the example is the following. A transport business owner wants to plan the number of trucks needed to handle forecasted freight volume. He forecasts that the freight volume should be an average of 160,000 tons per month with a standard deviation of 3,000 tons. Freight is unloaded on a uniform basis throughout the month and Based on past experience, the amount handled per month is assumed to be normally distributed. The owner also concludes that they should buy 40 foot 2x4 tractor trailer rigs, which are suitable for carrying either two 20 foot containers, one 30 foot container, or one 40 foot container. The 20 foot containers hold approximately 20 tons of cargo, the 30 foot 45 tons, and the 40 foot hold 60 tons of freight or cargo. Uh, it's also possible to put non-containerized um, cargo on the rigs, and they, if so, then they can hold 60 tons of cargo. Approximately 60% of the containerized freight is shipped in 40-foot containers, 20% in 30-foot, 20% in 20-foot. And 25% of the freight is handled by tractor-trailer rigs, uh, sorry, is containerized, and 75% is non-containerized. Trucks pick up freight at the dock and deliver it directly to their customers. The owner concludes that each rig can pick up freight at the dock three times a day. So let's see what this looks like. So freight volume is on average 160,000 tons with a standard deviation of 30,000 tons. Uh, containerized makes up 25% of the volume, non-containerized 75%. Okay, and then uh, what we're going to do is look at the different containerized options and figure out how much on average we can ship with each. Okay, so going back here, we're told that um, approximately 60% of the containerized freight, freight is shipped in 40 foot. 20% in 30 foot and 20% in 20 foot. So we're going to plug that in. Okay, so 60% in 40 foot, 20% in 30 foot, and 20% in 20 foot. The number we can hold on the truck, two 20 footers, one 30, 30 footer, or one 40 footer. Number of tons that they can hold, again going back to our example, um, the 20 foot can hold 20 tons of cargo, the 30 foot 45 tons, the 40 foot 60 tons. So 20, 45, and 60. 20, 45, and 60. The non-containerized can hold 60 tons, we're told, and we can haul, uh, each rig can do three loads a day. The containerized, again, can do three loads a day, and to figure out uh, how much can be hauled that way, we need to do a sum product to take into account the percentage of each, the number that can fit on a truck, and how much they can each hold. So a sum product of those three uh, gives us, on average, 53 tons per containerized load, so slightly less than the non-containerized. And that helps us figure out how much each day each rig can carry. So of containerized, it's 53 times 3 because each rig can uh, do three loads a day. And non-containerized, 60 tons times three loads in a day gives 180 tons. Now we're told that the average freight volume is 160,000, but it's normally distributed. Again, we're told that it is normally distributed. So that means it will fluctuate, it'll never exactly be 160,000 tons. To simulate that, we're gonna use Excel's norm.invcall uh, on the random number, and we're going to feed in the mean and the standard deviation. And that will give us um, a guess for this month's freight volume. And of course, every time we hit enter, we'll get a different freight volume. Okay. Uh, so now to figure out the volume per day, which is what we would like to simulate, let's take that number and divide by 30. 
assume 30 days in the month, even though that's not always true, that's what we're going to assume. Uh, and let's split that into containerized and non-containerized by taking that percentage. So 25% of that 4489 will be containerized and 75% will be non-containerized. Forgive me, I'm going to take it as a cell reference. You're always a good idea to do cell references. And I have my calculations set to, forgive me, to... Um, automatic here so uh good sorry forgive me i grabbed the wrong number there take 75 percent of the volume per day and notice i have my calculations right now if we go into formulas i have them set right now to automatic so every time i hit enter it's giving me new numbers so that is okay okay so now uh based on one replication um i need to ship 1,215 tons of containerized cargo, and each rig can hold 159 containers, or sorry, 159 tons um, of containerized cargo. That would give me seven rigs needed. I need to ship 3,168 of non-containerized tons, and each rig can ship 180 tons per day. Divide those through. Okay, now I get eight and 20. And now let's do this 200 times. So go cell reference those two values. Go highlight the run number as well as those two. Go to data, what if analysis, and data table. Put in a blank cell for the column input, put nothing for row. Click OK. And there we go. We get 2,000 replications or 2,000 days, if you will. And let's take averages of our containerized number of rigs needed and our non-containerized number of rigs needed. And I get 8 and 22. We need 8 containerized rigs per day and 22 non-containerized. So that's the optimal number of each um, to ship all the necessary cargo based on 2,000 days being replicated here.